Are you trying to download iMovie here on the App Store, but when you go and search for it, it is nowhere to be seen? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain why that is and give you some tips that may help you download iMovie on your iPhone or iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And because video is such a big part of music, a lot of folks I know use iMovie. But the problem is, if you are trying to go to the App Store here on your iPhone or iPad, it's nowhere to be seen when you go to search for it. And the reason for this is the new version of iMovie is only compatible with iOS 13. So if you don't have iOS 13 installed on your iPhone or your iPad, you're not going to be able to download the latest version. There's a couple of solutions to this which we'll cover in this video. Solution number one is to update to iOS 13. Now you need a compatible device, so you'll need an iPhone 6S or above, an iPad Air 2 or above, an iPad Mini 4 or above, or an iPad Pro, any of the iPad Pros. And if you wanna learn more about compatibility, there is a link up the top there and in the description. So if you have one of those devices, you simply need to go into settings and go into general, and you'll be able to tap on software update, and it'll check for an update, and there you go, you can download load and install the latest version which is iOS 13.1.2. Once that's installed on your device you'll be good to go. As soon as you go to the App Store with iOS 13 installed it will be right there. You'll be able to download iMovie and you'll be on your way. But what if your device doesn't support iOS 13? Can you download iMovie or are you out of luck? Well, if you've ever downloaded iMovie from the App Store before, you can re-download it using the method I'm about to show you. If you've never downloaded it before, there is another workaround which I'll tell you about at the end of the video. So to get this downloaded, let's tap on the App Store here, like so, and instead of searching in the bottom right corner, now we're going to tap on the Today button here in the bottom left corner, and this will bring us up to this screen here. What we want to pay attention to is our account. So if we tap on this little face icon, or whatever your icon is, this will jump into our Apple ID account. So let's do that now. From here, what we want to do is tap on this purchased button to jump into our purchased apps. And what this will show us is if we tap on my purchases, it'll show us all of the different apps that we have ever downloaded on our Apple ID account on any device. And that's the key here. If we've downloaded this before, it's going to be available. So what I'm going to do is tap in the search box here and I'm going to start searching for iMovie. I -M -O, there it is. And what you'll notice here is we do have the ability to download it. So let's tap on that download icon now. And what we'll get is this message. It's going to say the new version is not compatible with your device because you need iOS 13. However, we can download an older version of this app. We tap on download and there we go. It's going to start downloading iMovie. Now, what's the difference? Well, you're not going to get USB file support. You're not going to get dark mode and you're not going to get the new iOS 13 share sheet. But to this date, at least in uh, October, 2019, there's not much else that's been added to iMovie. So the version for iOS 12 is still very usable and should be very good for creating your videos. So that is now done. All we need to do is tap on the open button there and we'll be editing in iMovie once again. If we go back to our home screen here, there it is. It's ready to go. We just need to tap that one and we can start editing. So that's how we can do it if you've downloaded it before. But what if you've never downloaded iMovie before? What can you do then? So this gets a little bit trickier and you may even need some help from a friend with this one. What we're going to do is tap on the App Store to jump back in here, but we're going to tap on Done here to go back to my account screen. So I'll tap on my face again to jump back into my Apple ID account. So this time I'm going to draw your attention to this, the sign out button, because what you're going to need to do is sign out of your Apple ID and sign in as someone else who has downloaded iMovie before. So a friend, a relative, a well-wisher, a co-worker, anyone will do as long as on their Apple ID they have downloaded iMovie before. So sign out as you, sign in, all you'll need is their Apple ID and their password, and then sign in as them, download the app to your device as them, sign out of their account account back in as you and you'll be good to go using exactly the same method but just logged in as that other person. 
But what if you don't have a friend or relative handy? Well, if you do have another device that does support iOS 13, all you need to do is log into that device, download iMovie, and then come back to this one, go to the App Store in your purchase sections, and it will be there ready to download. You can download the most recent version, just as we did in the previous demonstration. So there you go, now that you've got your iMovie back, it is time to start editing. And I've got two videos linked here and here that can help you with your iMovie editing processes. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you on the next video.